machine is testing how chewy this fake meat burger is. It's one of the many tests Beyond Meat puts its burgers through. What do you think? It's quite good. I mean, that's light years away from what they used to make. The market is set to reach $6.3 billion in revenue by 2023. Bun, cucumbers, lettuce, ketchup, cheese, patty, tomatoes, bun. Those are the components of the beloved burger. For centuries, burgers have been one of the most popular meals all over the world, with its components evolving and varying rapidly throughout time. There have been countless innovations in burger making, but the most recent one is probably the most astounding, because it's the patty itself that's different. The difference isn't just the flavor, texture, size, or kind of meat, but in the actual ingredients for it, because the emerging patty is one that isn't even actually meat. That's right, now we have what is commonly referred to as fake meat. In an effort to adapt more sustainable lifestyles, people have also turned to plant-based diets in order to lessen their carbon footprints and reduce their consumption of red meat. However, some people seem to miss and still crave that taste and texture of meat. With the goal of creating a substitute for meat, plant-based proteins have become wildly popular in the food industry. Today, I will tell you all about why the fake meat industry is doing so well nowadays, what it has in store for it in the future, what it can do for the human body, and just what exactly fake meat is made of. This is Business Explained. To learn more about all things money, get educated about how to do business, become business savvy, and enjoy more videos like these, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, and may you be granted with many, many sweet returns. As this recent COVID-19 pandemic spread worldwide, the meat industry has been receiving major blows. There have been numerous virus outbreaks and factories which have put big dents in the meat supply chain. Apart from this, the typical distribution channels for meat have been closed down. With closed schools, restaurants, and several other facilities around the globe, there is inevitably a decline in output and rise in prices for the meat industry. This event led to various slaughterhouses having to euthanize their livestock since they were forced to close. It surely doesn't help that the demand for meat doesn't decline despite all this. Since urbanization, population growth, a rising global middle class, and so much more led to greater meat consumption. With this steady increase in demand and decrease in supply of meat, the fake meat industry emerges. More and more people then began to see meat alternatives as effective and more sustainable sources of protein. So much so that the increasing profits of businesses that center on meat alternatives were no longer solely due to the virus outbreak. The fake meat industry is now also rising due to the consumers yearning for healthier food alternatives that don't require major changes in diet. With rising obesity rates worldwide and the retained high demand in meat, these fake meats have certainly made an impression on consumers. Now let's dig deeper into this rising industry and see what fake meat is made of and why it can taste, look, and even bleed like real meat. There are actually two main categories for meat alternatives, plant-based protein and cell-based protein. The more widely available products are the plant-based protein products. These are created through plant proteins which are extracted and isolated from the plants then mixed with other plant-based ingredients. This combination makes the product have its artificial meatiness. Cell-based meat, on the other hand, makes use of extracting animal cells from animals and growing them in a lab culture. This process actually takes as much time as naturally getting meat, without the inconveniences of having to raise the livestock, slaughter them, remove their bones, remove their feathers, and others. The process also produces the same amount of meat as natural meat. The products can even be made healthier than traditional animal meat since it can be modified to contain more essential amino acids, more protein, and more vitamins. The amount of saturated fat and the chances of animal-borne illnesses contaminating the meat are also reduced with cell-based meat being created in sterile environments. 
All this is accomplished without risking the well-being of livestock, which aids the fake meat industry amidst their growing disdain towards traditional meat, which has many cases of animal maltreatment. By now, you're probably wondering just how successful the fake meat industry has become. Well, right now, two major companies in this industry are Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat. Impossible Foods started off targeting the commercial and restaurant market instead of directly targeting consumers. They were able to replicate the meaty flavor in their plant-based products by using HEM, which is an iron-rich molecule in animal proteins. They also use their molecular engineering to make their meat have an effect of bleeding like real meat, making it almost hard to differentiate between true meat products. They've even scored major deals with Burger King and Starbucks, both of which will be featuring the Impossible Sausage in their menus. Beyond Meat, on the other hand, has a major partnership with Dunkin' Donuts, which will also be featuring the company's plant-based sausages in their menu. They also sell directly to consumers in grocery stores. Furthermore, they aimed further than the United States of America, venturing towards opening production facilities in Asia. As of today, they are already selling their products in Taiwan, Singapore, and Hong Kong. With the rise of the fake meat industry, other companies have begun to create alternatives for other types of meat, like seafood. There also has been a rise in demand for fish, and seafood alternatives have emerged in order to satisfy the demand without depleting the Earth's fish supply. Good Catch Foods has even gotten investments from well-known celebrities like Paris Hilton, Lance Bass, and Woody Harrelson, giving them more ability to handle the worst supply chains in the seafood industry, which is shrimp. Its alternatives are composed of lentils, chickpeas, fava beans, and other legumes. Some biotech companies are also exploring methods for engineering meat-like products from methane, which is already being used for some animal feed. Apart from healthier alternatives, companies are also offering allergen-free alternatives by using chickpeas as their plant-based meat product's source of protein. As you can see, plant-based meats have the power to stay strong in the market due to their popularity as a way to reduce livestock, which in turn leads to freeing up global cropland, decreasing soil erosion, relieving pressure on the world's water supply, and reducing instances of animal maltreatment. It's also praised for expanding food options for vegetarians and vegans, and for enticing meat eaters to consume environmentally friendly protein due to their meat-like taste. However, like any other industry, the fake meat industry isn't immune to criticism. A lot of the criticism towards it centers on its claim as a healthy alternative to real meat. Although plant-based meat is healthier than real meat in terms of calories, there are still other factors to look into. Since fake meat is a manufactured product, the variegation of ingredients among different companies is significant. Regardless of how meat-like a company's product may be, we cannot immediately assume that they are healthy and effective alternatives. For example, the Impossible Whopper of Burger King contains even more sodium and other highly processed ingredients, like modified food starch, cultured dextrose, and soy protein isolate than the regular Whopper. The big names in plant-based burgers, Impossible Foods, and Beyond Meat produce meat that exceed the recommended daily value of sodium by about 16%. Some have also argued that the fake meat industry overuses antibiotics, which aggravates the worldwide problem of antibiotic resistance. Apart from this, several critics have noted that replacing real meat with fake meat isn't automatically an improvement in diet quality if people retain their other unhealthy diets that go with their burgers, like fries and soda. Others only consider meat alternatives as traditional food for people to go through before turning to vegetarianism or veganism, since vegetables are still the cheapest, healthiest, and most sustainable option of food. In line with this, people critique the fake meat industry on their prices. Their products are mostly targeted towards a small percentage of the world, being upper to middle class, and the eco-conscious consumers since a high demand is matched with a small market. In fact, the mentioned category of fake meat, the cell-based meats, are actually considered a luxury goods. This is mainly due to fetal bovine serum, which is one of the key ingredients in cell-based meats. Others have challenged the idea that meat alternatives are better for the environment, 
despite having advantages for the environment. Artificial meat still comes with its own hazards and costs for heating, electricity, and other resources. They also produce the same amount of emissions as chicken, producing about five times the emissions of vegetables and legumes. Along with this criticism comes worries for the agriculture industry. The meat sector is among the largest employers in agriculture, so the automation of meat production would definitely affect a lot of workers. The last criticism we'll cover is a psychological barrier against the fake meat industry. Eating lab-grown food isn't something that is as widely socially accepted as eating traditional meat, so people have a natural aversion towards fake meat. Companies yearning to boost the fake meat industry are devoted to counter all these criticisms through continued advances in genetic engineering and plant-based innovation. They aim to utilize these in order to encourage consumption through enriched taste, flavor, and healthiness of their meat alternatives. They are even pushing for these technologies to expand towards creating alternatives for meat and seafood that haven't been given alternatives yet, including pork, duck, and eel. As you can see, there is now a great rise in interest and demand for meat alternatives, which is driven by the growing desire for healthier, more sustainable food options without sacrificing taste. Although the fake meat industry is still far from its intended height and reach, and is still faced with countless criticisms, the race towards technological advances rages on in hopes to mitigate society's doubts toward meat alternatives and in an effort to make them more accessible to a bigger population. So, what do you think about the growing fake meat industry? Do you think meat alternatives should have more demand than the traditional animal-based meat? Have you tried meat alternatives? Let me know and let's talk about it in the comment section down below. I'll be replying to all of you who comment within the first hour. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other video on what does Amex actually do? Business Explained. Imagine never having to carry any cash around with you. You could go to the grocery store any time of the week and pick out everything you want and need. All you need is to swipe a little rectangular piece of plastic to pay for all your purchases at the checkout counter. Today that's actually possible thanks to the invention of credit cards. These nifty little pieces of plastic are great for making cashless transactions and for keeping your assets all in one place. Gone are the days of having to withdraw cash at the ATM or carrying around bills and coins in your bags and pockets. On what does Amex actually do, Business Explained, I'm going to be telling you all about one such pioneer in the field of credit cards, the American Express Company. So sit back and relax as I tell you all about Amex, or the American Express Company. Stay tuned, stay educated.